everyone, it's Donna Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Today was a, that was a good day, and Emily came by. She had supper with us. We had hot dogs tonight. Jim was cooking hot dogs outside, and so we had hot dogs and baked potatoes. It was very tasty. Mm -hmm. And hot peppers. And hot peppers. Oh, yeah, I forgot. We mm -hmm. cooked hot peppers. Well, if you'd like to know how I cooked the hot peppers, let's just go to the video and you can see. I was picking some peppers and I thought maybe I should show you what I'm doing. And these are the pepper plants. And as you can see, there's little of peppers so thin in there. I'm picking them. I'm going to fry some peppers. And when you pick them, because I don't have scissors with me, I twist them this way. I don't break the bush. And then it comes off real easy. Look at how beautiful they are. There's tons of peppers in here. I only want the really, really big ones. We had rain last night and we had rain earlier today, but it's stopped raining. But everything is still very wet, but it's nice and freshly washed by the rain. Look at my basil, how beautiful that's come along. And these are the sweet peppers. The sweet peppers are, are pretty big also. But they're supposed to get to an orange. Look how big they are. This is the pepper plant that I had in the house. It's so tall. Usually they're not this tall, as you can see in the garden. And I've got one tomato plant that seeded itself and it's got a few little green tomatoes on it. The peppers, what I do is I chop the top off and I slit down the side and then I pull the seeds out. The seeds are where the hot heat is. This might be hot, but then again it might not. If I was going to do a lot of these, I would wear rubber gloves, but because I'm not doing that many, I'm not going to wear rubber gloves. Just don't touch your eyes. Keep your hands off your face. We save our bacon grease, and I put bacon grease in there. And that'll fry them up a little bit. When you're going to check them, you take them off the burner so that the sizzling can slow down. Then you can look at them and turn them. They're looking pretty good. Now they're allowed to slow cook so they can tenderize. The peppers are cooked enough. Now you have to make sure you drain any liquid that might be gathered inside of them. Sometimes there is. 
and just place them in your dish. Emily came by. Say hi, Emily. Hello, YouTube. And she had me shorten her dress. It's, she's going to wear it to my niece's wedding. It looks really good, but this material was a pain in the neck to shorten on. I never want to work on this kind of material again. That's the back. But it's beautiful. I'll show you the piece I cut off. I cut uh, five inches off the bottom. It's a pretty dress. Thank this is the piece that I cut off of her dress. The water gym for a minute. This is the piece that I cut off her dress. Five inches of material. It's a really, it's nice. It'll make a nice headband. Emily came by because she wanted me to hem her dress. I hemmed the dress. I had to cut five inches off. I showed you the dress and I showed you the five inch piece of material that's left over. It's going to make a lovely hairband for me. I asked her, do you want the piece of material? And she said, no. I said, can I have it? And she said, sure. You would never know that that piece came off the bottom of her dress because her dress looks perfect without it. But it was material that would stretch all directions and it was very difficult to work with. But we managed and it looks really good on her. Well, I hope you all had a great day, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.